What is up DTube Steam Blockchain? So today I want to do a video talking a little bit about when information gathering becomes meaningless. So it's kind of moving kind of rapid into that direction and it's been something that has been on for quite some time now. I sort of been feeling it since maybe, I mean already 2009 I sort of felt it a little bit where the way you sort of use the internet well you refresh a lot to find new data find new information and, it, and it's kind of cool but eventually you start to see sort of pattern recognition that well it's usually is the same thing the people are talking about maybe the story is a little bit different but the data doesn't really change that much so so this data data gathering, data accumulation by a human is eventually going to become useless. Because, because you're going to have a machine that thinks a million times better than you can think. Because it, it's just, it just has more data. So if you think about the data that you have in your head right now, you can only like form new ideas and new stuff based on that sort of data. And that sort of data is very limited. Like the, the amount of data that you have gathered is very limited. Versus a machine that can have 1 million GB gigabytes or 1 million terabytes. I'm not really sure how big it's going to be, but it, it's going to be big. Okay, it's going to be more room. <laughs> Than, uh, than the storage that you have in your mind, basically. Because if you consider the storage you have in your mind, it's extremely limited. Even if you consider what did you do last day or last week at a specific time, you probably already have uh, forgotten that, or maybe it's not even stored anymore. Maybe it's in there somewhere. But when you have a machine that thinks a million times better than you, because it's just data, and they've, they've done sort of studies now, which has shown that they can sort of make so human has relationships with robots. <laughs> with just a couple of sentences, they can make it look very real and make people feel emotions. And, uh, and they won't even know it's a machine. So what does this mean? Well, it means that probably in 10 years or something like that, the only thing, or not the only thing, but the big thing that will... That, that, that a human should invest in is be alert daily and invest in human consciousness. So alertness is that you're always sort of on, you're always sort of uh, paying, being attentive to stuff. And, uh, and yeah, human consciousness, because a machine is never going to be conscious. It can, it can do a lot of fun stuff with data, but it, it's never going to be conscious. Okay, so it can never really replace a human, but it can make it look extremely real. It can make it look extremely real. So, so this data gate gathering that people are doing right now, I can take an ex a personal example for me personally with YouTube, sort of AdSense. I don't even have to look at, like, it just, like, the machine just goes by itself eventually. Uh, people are finding videos, clicking on my videos, and AdSense is on, and and I don't even have to look at it for a year, but the machine sort of goes on, and um, and that that is just more and more the direction that we're going to. That you're just gonna have all your data, and you're probably just gonna get it, give it to a machine or something like that, and it's just gonna come up with better stuff than a human ever sort of could come up with, which. Um, it's just where it's going. So this data gathering that people are doing right now and trying to look smart with, we're not going to look smart eventually in like 10 years or so. But you can already see it happening right now where you can see the machine is, is starting to become very, very, it looks very smart or like it can find a lot of information way faster than you can do. And it's like, why even eventually probably People won't even Google or something like that because the data is already there. The data that they probably would have for that day, day or something that's useful for the day, it's just going to be there instantly. And you won't have to dive deep and try to sort of find the data at some other place. 
because that is going to be everywhere it's going to be super super abundant so memory memory accumulation data accumulation all of this is just like we use going to delegate it to a machine and it's going to be great because you won't have to remember anything <laughs> you won't have to remember everything anything and eventually you you probably won't even remember how much oh how much value you have and all this uh, because you just gonna have a machine that does that a million times better. Now, <laughs> I know what humans are gonna say. They're gonna say, well, because you can't really have a concept of this at the moment. It sounds unreal. It sounds that you always have to keep a track of something. But if you have a machine that's a million times better than you at data, I mean a million times better, just consider that. That means if a person started from scratch, you know you can have it back in one day uh if you if you had something let's say so so right now humans are creating these pools where they are like they are like well this is my data and then, and then another person is like well and this is my data and then another person is like oh this is my data but eventually we're probably just gonna say well we don't really care anymore like <laughs> the machine is just doing it so good it's so impressive and I, and I already see it right now. I mean, the smartphones coming out of 2019, the high-end phones, and the phones that's going to come out 2020, 2021, I mean, these are sharp. So sharp devices. So clean devices. So amazing devices. Maybe it took... I mean, is this? I would say it's three times as good as a phone from 2016. Three times as good already. And if we consider that compound again, let's say three times as good in a couple of more years again. I mean, it's going to be so good that humans are probably going to laugh at a lot of the stuff that they are concerned with right now. Because a lot of humans' concerns revolve basically around the same sort of stuff. So when you can have an AI, it's going to be intelligent. And I know that a lot of people are like worried about intelligence, but it's like, if it's intelligent, it's like, you don't have to worry about intelligence. Intelligence is, is intelligence. Uh, it can be artificial. It can be human intelligence. It can probably be alien intelligence, whatever. But as long as it's intelligent, it's like, it won't do anything stupid. Uh, humans can, of course play around with stuff, <laughs> you know, uh, but uh, some intelligent device is just going to be intelligent. Like humans, sometimes they're not intelligent. Sometimes they're doing weird stuff uh, that, that really isn't intelligent, right? But when you start talking about something that is intelligent, like artificial intelligence, yeah, it's going to be intelligent to give you what you need. Like, yeah. Um, so that is kind of what I wanted to talk a little bit about today. And I'm getting another phone uh, quite soon. That's going to be my best phone ever. That is going to have 256 GB in like storage. And, and, and it's just amazing. And that, how you can expand the storage with the micro SD, one terabyte. Like really, like if we have this already right now, aren't we going to have like 10 terabyte, so, 10 terabyte phones very soon? And then it's just like, <laughs> then people are probably going to laugh at what they did with those earlier devices. Because really, my my experience of like, I can't even hold the Galaxy S8 after being using the Galaxy S10 Plus for two weeks. I can barely ho hold it because it feels like such a joke, such a toy, such a, like you couldn't even imagine that you found that impressive like two years ago. And that's obviously just going to, compound and uh, it's gonna keep happening right so so humans are gonna have to start to value human consciousness more and it's really just about making a person aware of that aspect of that dimension that that is going to be where humans uh, can have fun and there is not a interesting great way of like explaining it because then I have to give it in a data form 
and uh, explaining consciousness in a data form is like okay you have to explain an experience and the experience you have to have yourself it's like you know how do you explain an experience it's the same as when someone is even when someone is getting data that data can even be misinterpreted because that person is making up their own meanings of what that sort of data means like we don't even the same word we think different of the same word so that's kind of fascinating right like most people don't consider it even but yeah uh <laughs> it's gonna be great seeing these machines starting to roll out they can be in a phone they can be in the cloud whatever like they can be w wherever uh, but it's going to do stuff very very fast very very fast Yeah, have a great day, DTube and Steam blockchain. Bye-bye.